see if we're live. All right, looks like we're live. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, what, yeah, introduce my yourself. Name, What's your name? name? Microphone? My name is Alexander Mignatis. I am a sophomore in high school. And what brings you here today? Uh, I've seen your videos online, and I think um, very intelligent man. And I, and I, um, my Ma the MacBook Air, my MacBook Air stopped working. The screen was very dim. So what was it doing? It was flickering, blinking, flickering, or blink. it was very dim. But when I click keys, it wouldn't do anything. But when I, uh, when I to click command something, I um, it lit up full brightness. Okay. But so it, then it turned off. So what was your first inclination when this happened? To uh, oh, what was your first inclination to do? Oh crap! This. Oh, they're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Apple store. They're probably gonna overcharge me because it's out of warranty. Well, let's assume the best. So you went to the Apple store, and what happened after you went to the Apple store? What did they tell you? They told me that the GPU needs to be fixed, the motherboard, and the display, and that would cost twelve hundred dollars altogether. All right. So first interesting thing here is, as any of you may see on the table, this is a MacBook Air, which does not have a graphics chip. It only has a CPU and inbuilt graphics. So wh what exactly did they say needed to be replaced again? The GPU, motherboard, and display. GPU, motherboard, and display. And yeah. what was the quote for that? Like 300, 200, 400? This GPU would be, think, around 400. Mm -hmm. Motherboard would be around 700. They didn't know about the display, but... So what was, like, the roundabout quote? A thousand. A thousand bucks. All right. What actually happened to be wrong with this thing? Let's take a look. So... There's some, do you know what a hall sensor is? No. Nope. All right, so a hall sensor is something that's going to detect when a magnet goes by it. So you have a magnet in the screen right over here. And there's a sensor over here. See what happens when I put a magnet? Yep. Every time I, I put a magnet, that. it is turning the light off. Now, this hall sensor is going to communicate with the main logic board via this little cable. And let's take a look at what your original DC in cable looked like. Just uh, scroll this by. So is there anything that you can see once we zoom in on the screen here that looks funny? Can you point to it? The, uh, the pin 9 and 10, the pin connector. On which side, left or right? Uh, right. Right side. So. If you look right over here, and we'll zoom in to get it more obvious for those viewing after the awful YouTube compression kicks in. Excuse my unsteady hand here. You'll see that right around here, we have a little bit, teeny tiny bit of corrosion. So this is a case where you did actually have to get some sort of liquid in it, whether it was, you know, a quarter of a drop or a gallon is up to anybody's interpretation. So if you count the pins here, you'll see it happens on... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So what happens on pins nine and ten? Now, if we look over at the schematic in the board view, let's just get that stuff on the screen over here and go over to our connector and we count, you'll see that if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you have SMC lid. SMC lid is going to be where that hall sensor is going to, going to communicate with the SMC. So let's find SMC lid. So SMC lid is going to be pulled up to 3.42 volts. And then that's going to communicate with the SMC, which I keep passing because of Paul Daniels' software. Paul Daniels, if you're watching, I'm going to get you someday. So as you can see here, that goes into the SMC chip. And if there's any corrosion on there, you're going to get uh, the 3.42 volts, which tells the system's open to uh, go down to zero volts and because tell it that it's closed. closed. Yeah, yeah, it's going to think it's closed. And when it thinks it's closed, it's going to turn your light off because the first thing that happens when you close the computer is your light is off. Like on the so, iPad covers that turn it off automatically? Yeah, so do you yeah. understand now why it is that this was not working? Yep. Well, you now understand more than a genius because if they replaced your logic board and your screen, they would have actually never replaced this cable problem. that communicates with the hall yeah. sensor, and it still would not have worked after you paid $1,000. And they said, just buy a new computer. So you now know more than a genius. Thank you. Good stuff, kid. Appreciate it. Well, 
Enjoy your working computer. Just Thank gotta you. put your screws in. And uh, you all can look up what this cable costs on the internet if you're interested. It's 8211722. Now, as I said with the CBC piece, that was a computer that I, to my knowledge, looking under a microscope for 10 minutes, which they did not include in the CBC piece, don't know why, did not have liquid in it. This one did have to have liquid in it. But the liquid, 8211722, I'll leave it up to you to Google and see how much it costs to fix this machine. And you can take a look around the area at the connector. It actually looks pretty nice, so I don't think that you're going to have to deal with any sort of long-term effects here. So that was a common concern cited, is that you may have some long-term issues with any sort of repair of this nature. And if you take a look at this connector, you will see that this just looks sweet. Dylan says, sup, Alex. So take a look at this connector, and I will leave it up to you all to decide whether or not you think this is something that is going to fail again. I'm just going to try to get the entire connector in view and in focus. There we go. So look at those pins. Those pins, in my opinion, look 110% perfect, beautiful, and zero issue of failing again. Would you trust this machine? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm glad. Thank Where are you going to go next time? You, absolutely. Any, any place but them. So that's it for yeah. today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Subscribe. And give me back my batteries, if you're watching. <laughs>